All right, today we're just gonna do another quick comparison. It was brought to my attention that I wasn't fully fair to Crystal yesterday. So I'm just gonna bring up that comment here that this fine person gave me. And I looked more into it and they were absolutely correct. So let me just quickly walk you through what this speed test is. Basically, we create an array. It has 10,000 items in it and it's all backwards. So it goes from 10,000 all the way to zero in decreasing order. This sorting algorithm here is incredibly slow. It's, it's a form of bubble sort. So it's, it's very slow, but I did that on purpose. And so it'll end up looping through the array a bunch of times and it will actually just reverse it basically. But it's very slow and it's just kind of a cool benchmark. So I have that same program written over here in C because of course the tagline for Crystal is as slick as Ruby, as fast as C. So we're really gonna put that to the test today. So there's a couple things that I wanna do. I would usually compile Crystal by saying crystal build crystal.cr in the name of the file, and then it'll compile. But it was brought to my attention, as you saw, that if I do dash dash release, it will actually compile with more optimizations. It'll ultimately be faster. So I'm gonna rename this executable to crystal no opt for no optimizations. And then let's run this release and we're also going to do no debug so the executable is a bit smaller and this did take a significant amount of time with the program that i had the other day so i rewrote it for this reason and then we're going to do two things with c as well we're going to compile it normally so c.c dash o we'll call it c no op so then we also have this so no optimizations for c and then if you didn't know with gcc you can add dash 03 and that adds some optimizations, makes it a little bit faster. Uh, I just wrote over it with op, all right. So now we're all set. We have our four programs, two with C and crystal and crystal no op. Just do that quickly. All right, so yeah, now we're all set. So let's actually run the speed test. Let me just grab the um, speed test file that we had last time. All right, so now we have the speed test that we had last time. Once again, if you weren't here yesterday, um, I did not write this. The credit goes to this guy on Stack Overflow. You can find the answer here. And I also post this code on my GitHub, but let's get to it. So basically what this does, it'll run time uh, about 10 times on the program. And that basically then just takes the average it's a bit more accurate. All right, dot slash speed test. And first let's do C with no optimizations. I made a silly mistake, dot slash. So for real time, meaning wall time, we're looking at just under half a second. Now let's run it with crystal, no optimizations. All right, so with crystal with no optimizations, we're looking at about just under four and a half seconds. Now let's check out C with optimizations. Wow, look at that. <laughs> wow, just over one tenth of a second, crazy fast. Now the true test, and I'm really rooting for crystal here because I'm a big fan of it. Wow, look at that. 0.211, just over two tenths of a second for Crystal. That is very, very impressive. So it's not as fast as C with the optimizations, but it is faster than C without the optimizations. So that's really cool, especially since Crystal has all these different features um, that allow it to, to actually be easier to code than C. The only thing I wanna note is I did not use some of the special features with Crystal. So for example, if instead of having a constant that size, I just used like here to sort dot length or dot size rather, in order to get the size, I assume it'll be a little bit slower. So I hope that cleared some things up. It definitely did for me and I'm, I'm very impressed with Crystal. One of the big issues with Crystal right now is its compile time. So it definitely has the ability to go mainstream and become more used. And people are saying it could compete with Go, but the issue is Go is supported by Google, a massive company, and Crystal isn't. Crystal also does not have very good compile time. If I had written a more full program and I ran this line, it could take like an hour to compile. That was the issue I was having with the old code I wrote. I left it for 40 minutes, it still didn't compile. But I think it's going places definitely. It's really cool, I wanna keep playing with it. So that answers the question. It is as slick as Ruby, but is it as fast as C? 
and from this test, it looks like it's pretty darn close. So I would say they are accurate with their tagline there, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for it. I think it's definitely going places. I hope you stick around. I think we're gonna do some more crystal in the future. I'm having a lot of fun with this. But as always, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave them down below. Once again, thank you to this person for that comment. I really appreciate that. That was very helpful. And I hope this cleared some things up. So thank you for watching and be safe.